Thank you again for checking out uh, TMG Burn Twin Burning. Today I am going to be showing you how to transfer a Rick and Morty uh, design. This is from a sticker pack that my wife got onto a wooden coaster. I'll be using basswood. And today I'm going to show you the graphite or charcoal transfer method. It uh, first requires you to print out your design. I use a laser jet printer and then size it and cut it down to the piece of wood that you'll be using. And so here I'm using charcoal for B softness and just covering the back of my design entirely with the material. This leaves a layer of the charcoal or you can also use a pencil which will leave some graphite on the back of the paper. So when you place it on the wood, you're able to trace over and transfer that a uh, bit of charcoal onto the wood to then guide your burn. Once we get the charcoal placed on the back of the paper, it's time to prep the wood. So I first use a 220 and 320 grit sanding sponge. Get that nice and smooth and then make sure to use a brush to get any extra sawdust or whatever other dirt or particles cleared off of there. And we use double-sided tape to attach our design and that way we are able to flip it up and down to check in on the progress of our transfer just using a tiny little stencil to trace over to get all of our outlines across and then i'm going to switch over and use a popsicle stick here to trace and imprint some negative space from the charcoal now this is a lightning storm in the background so we want to have a wide variety and array of light sources. So I'm going to use a couple of wood carving tools to gouge or create divots or ruts in the wood. So when I go over and burn, those areas won't be affected as much and it should leave us a good sense of negative space to give us the illusion of the lightning storm. So once we have that all done, we are ready to use our burn kit. And I'm using just kind of a triangle shading tip at max temperature, working the furthest away from the light source and then getting closer. So we're going from darkest to lighter. And we're starting to go over some of that dugout negative space with the wood carving tools. And you can see that the burn tip isn't getting all the way down to that area, leaving us a lighter color. I, wanted, I do want to add some darker shading around the center of the lightning storm to really make that your main focus point when you first look at it. And we're just trying to make a, a gradient from outside in. Again, using just the same kind of trading tip, max temperature. All I'm changing here is the speed that I am moving the tip and the pressure that I'm applying to the wood. Uh, now that we've got that first layer of the sky done, I'm going to switch tips to a ballpoint tip. This will give us the tools to do the outline for Rick and Morty, focusing on just a solid black outline and their silhouettes for their identifying characteristics such as hair, height, and outfit like Rick's lab coat. And then we've got Morty's little afro going uh, and just kind of working slowly making these as dark as we can to really contrast with the lightning storm in the back. Once we've got Rick and Morty done we're going to switch up and do the grass and kind of hills or knolls that they're walking on. Just going through giving it some shape darker towards the top and not focusing too much on the finer details. So then I'm switching up to a shading spoon, working on the three planets, first doing the outlines closest to the light source and then uh, working our way around, leaving a little bit of a light spot uh, to give it an orb-like look, doing the same on the smaller planet. And then once I do that, I am going in with a sanding sponge to kind of lighten it up and smooth it out. So on the bigger planet, I am doing the outer ring again to give it uh, an outline and then going in and doing just random shading on the planet. This can be mountains, land masses, water, clouds. It doesn't really matter, it's a random planet. So you can do whatever you want here with the details. and. Again, going in with the sanding sponge there to kind of smooth some stuff out. Uh, once I've finished up the details on the planet, I'm going to change to a different shading spoon. Here we are to fill in any last spots in the sky that I kind of want to just smooth out. 
and finish up any last gradient work. I really loved working on this piece. This is something I do when I'm live streaming, so check me out um, the next time I go live and we can go through this real time. If you have any recommendations on how to improve or you'd like to see something slowed down or another technique, let me know in the comments and I'd be glad to help out. Thanks. Hey, thanks for watching. If you don't already, if you could please hit that like and follow and subscribe button. Uh, and follow me on TikTok and Instagram at TMG Burns. Thanks.